Hello and welcome to Titan's Review Corner. Today we'll be doing Close Encounters of the Third Kind. A classic, right? Yeah. I had not sat down and watched that movie in probably 20 years, if not longer, because it did come out in like 83. No, wait, maybe earlier than that. Anyways. I'm like, okay, so the aliens are coming. Okay, they're coming to this particular area. So what do we do? We have to scare all of the people away because, yeah, they can't see the aliens. Okay, then we have, um, what is it, Richard Drivers, I think. I can't remember right now. Uh, the main guy who suddenly has the urge to go find the aliens. But the movie has to establish that the aliens are coming, establish that we need to keep the people away from the aliens, then we have to show our main hero character, I don't, our, our main character, and his normal life, and then how it, this need to go to the mountain that they're going to be at slowly take over his life. That was most of the movie. Like little things, like he had shaving foam in his hand. What does this look like to you? Okay, that's kind of creepy. Then he starts, you know, making it out of mashed potatoes. And then he's making it out of clay. And then the top comes off. That scene really bothered me. He's like got this big model and then this mountain. And for some, was it an earthquake or something? Something happens and he grabs the top of the mountain and just the top comes off. Like sheer, right across. That wouldn't happen! And now I suddenly know where I need to go. I need to go to that mountain with the flat top. So he journeys there and he automatically knows that the goats, they were goats or sheep, on the side of the road were not killed by whatever they're saying it is. Okay, so the military and or government type peoples capture him and the person that's with him and they talk to him. Okay, this is all stuff that we uh, establish and or could figure out on our own. So then after talking to them, they're like detaining them, but somehow they get free. And they are running to the mountain. And then everybody's chasing them, but then they don't catch them because they're already on the mountain. So they find the secret base where the aliens show up. And the aliens show up. This huge, lovely spaceship with pretty lights and designs. And then they start communicating, doing the light scene that everybody remembers and everybody makes fun of. Okay. That actually makes a lot of sense as far as communication goes because music is math and they say math is the universal language. After that, then we get to see the aliens. Why didn't Jim Henson work on this? Uh, I would believe that those aliens were more interesting if they were puppets. I've been spoiled. Anyways, I looked at them and I went, okay, hi, movie, we're at, like, the two-hour mark. We finally get to see the aliens, and this is what you show me? Huh. The journey wasn't really worth it. Uh, and then they kind of talk to the aliens. And the aliens let all the people that they took go. 
and they're all friendly with the aliens, and our main hero guy gets to go with the aliens. They didn't want anybody else for some reason. There was like a list of like 15 candidates, and they show him at the end, and the aliens are like, oh, we want him. They take him out of line, and they take him back to the spaceship. Didn't see them take anybody else. These are trained people that they could talk to and get probably much more information out. No, we want Joe Schmo. <sighs> so then after that, the aliens are going to leave. And we watch them leave and head into the sky with their pretty lights. Oh, their pretty lights. But that was it! I was so utterly bored with this movie. Now, granted, I don't mind slow movies, but I felt like the journey was completely uneventful. Guy goes crazy. Decides he needs to go to the mountain. There, there was like... Do we really need to take that long to, to describe that, really? Everybody says that this is a great movie, and... I don't know, maybe I'm being overly harsh, but it just... It just... It had a lot more potential of, like, areas that it didn't explore. I don't know. If you like this movie, if you've seen this movie, you like it, that's fine. It's fine. I just sat down and watched it again and go, this really didn't stand the test of time. Yeah. Close Encounters of the Third Time. I give it, I give it a C plus. Good night.